Welcome to the first part of the series where I will describe how I painted this painting. This is a portrait of Princess Drahomira and I made the painting as an illustration for the third part of the book called Avrakar, which has been published only in Czech. My model was an archaeologist, Mrs. Pavla Kohoutova. She creating costumes, hats and various accessories, so I will add a link to her page in the text under the video. Princess Drahomira lived in 10th century and is a real historical figure. I said princess, but her position was more like a queen, because princess is translation of Czech word knižna. This doesn't mean daughter of king, but a designation for something like a queen at a time when there was no kingdom in the Czech lands. In the studio of Professor Beran at the Academy of Fine Arts in Prague, there was perhaps only one taboo, and it was a historical painting. Professor Beran never allowed students to paint this. He always taught us that a realistic painting must look contemporary from nowadays. The reason was simple. Professor had to defend existence of studio where the realistic painting was in center of interest. He tried to explain that realistic painting is not something old-fashioned, but something that fully fits into the context of contemporary art. So I wanted to try this kind of historical reconstruction. But it doesn't mean that I would like to devote myself to historical painting in the long time. From the another point of view, it can actually be said that it's a portrait of an archaeologist in a costume reconstruction. The scarf on the head at this time, 10th century, did not have a religious meaning, but a purely practical, hygienic one. It prevented the hair from becoming dusty and absorbed the oil from hair. Women changed and washed such a scarf every day. And now to the actual work on the painting. The basis is a series of photographs which I made one September evening. I then stretched a linen canvas and applied several layers of acrylic gesso. Then the underdrawing follows. I usually use a crayon, often watercolor crayon, which are mixed with the following underpainting. It's important to say that the underdrawing is something different from the drawing as a final work. With the underdrawing, it's important for me to get an orientation in the composition. That means I can work with stronger line, for example, and do other things that I wouldn't do in normal drawing. Furthermore, I reduce the works with shading. I use shadows only where it's important for composition or to define proportions. And also I have some shots from working on the underpainting. The basis layer done with acrylic paint. In some places I completely omitted the underpainting, in others I did it in details, for example in leaves. There I chose a rather detailed preparation because each sheet is different. I only applied painterly simplification in the final oil painting. And oil painting is done faster if I have everything sorted out in the underpainting. Here you can see how the wall painting looks like before starting the oil painting. That will be all for today. In the next video I will tell you how I started with oil painting, first at the background and surrounding, that is how I painted the wall and the fallen leaves. Below the video you will find links to my website and my Instagram and my Facebook page. Thank you for following there as well. I don't use Twitter very often, 
but if there is interest then you will follow me there I will start posting updates there as well I'm also attaching links to galleries where you can see my paintings in real life thank you for likes subscribe and comments and have a nice day and see you in next videos